Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the NECA Series 1 Lone Ranger figure set. This includes the Lone Ranger and his trusty sidekick Tonto. Now let me quickly start by acknowledging the giant elephant in the room which is this movie sucked. It bombed tremendously in the box office, lost a ton of money, but surprisingly enough NECA actually turned out some very cool figures for the film. Um, so much so that I'm actually interested in getting the 18-inch versions of each of these. So I picked each of these guys up at a local Toys R Us for 18 bucks a piece, and um, honestly, I had to kind of go through uh, several different packages of these figures before I actually found one. I'm not talking about like several different individual figures. I'm talking about packages of figures before I found a paint application that I actually liked. They're very hit or miss, kind of like the uh, the NECA Aliens Series 1 um, figures. Some of them just had some very odd defects. Uh, most of them tended to be the Tonto figures, oddly enough. But um, I finally found a set that I was really happy with and decided to go for it. I always like classic looking figures, you know, cowboys, Indians, um, stuff like that. I thought it was a cool addition to my collection. So um, we'll start out by taking a look at Tonto. He has... Kind of the same standard articulation that most of the NECA figures have now, which is ankle, knee, hip, torso, wrist, elbow, shoulder, and then the head, which is on a ball joint. Now, the lightness on this one is actually pretty good. I really thought this uh, really did a good job of capturing um, Johnny Depp's image here. thought they did a good job with the, uh, the raven or crow or whatever's, uh, whatever bird is on his uh, headpiece there. And then... Um, the costume portions are very cool. As far as accessories, he comes with a tomahawk and then a small knife, which goes in a sheath on his side there. And then um, he does have peg holes in his feet, so you can put them on a display stand, which is nice. But this figure actually stands up on his own pretty well, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Overall, this is a cool figure. Um, I'm not sure if it's my favorite out of the two. I kind of like them equally, but um, this one definitely has a lot going for it. So that is Tonto. And then secondly, we have the Lone Ranger himself. Has a removable hat. And then uh, two pistols, which can also fit in the holsters on his hips there. Has the same articulation as Tonto. Um, the only thing that I wasn't a huge fan on or a fan of with this figure was um, on his neck he had a, a real I don't know it's it's a really messy paint application for his neck I don't know I don't know if it's supposed to be just stubble or dirt or what but it makes him look like a burn victim which is kinda odd I'm not sure if they're going for that or what and uh, all of the Lone Ranger figures had that so uh, I'm guessing they meant to do that I'm not sure why um, other than that, paint application was well done, except for I had some uh, bleeding, some uh, silver paint on his jacket that I'm trying to get off, so a little elbow grease should take care of that, but overall, not a bad figure, you can do some cool uh, gunslinger positions with this guy, looks pretty cool, so yeah, they're, they're pretty simple figures, and for, you know, 18 bucks, I don't know if they're really worth 18 bucks. I might just wait till, oh, there he goes. I might just wait till uh, these guys go down in price a little. Maybe they're on sale or you can find them cheaper on Amazon, something like that. I don't know. But um, overall, it's a decent set. Um, definitely makes up for the movie. Really, I don't know, the movie just, it lost me. It had some very cool action scenes in it. I really thought the choreography for like the train scene and stuff was cool. But overall, it was like two and a half hours for pretty much no plot other than revenge which doesn't merit you know two and a half hours worth of film for that um i don't know i just was expecting something on par with pirates of the caribbean 3 and instead got something more like ghost rider 2 so um but yeah end of rant uh that's it for this review if you have any questions about these figures uh just leave them in the comments below and check out some of my other reviews as always thanks for watching